well, there's a heat index today and I want to go blow glass, so I'm going to blow glass on a really hot day. Once I get to the shop, I'm going to try to set it up so I can switch camera angles while I'm blowing glass and uh, hopefully that works out. Glasses I made, here's the Mario bomb arm I was trying to make. So I'm at the shop, there's a heat advisory outside. Ah, I'm sweating already. It's really hot in my car because I don't have air conditioner, but I'm in the studio now. It's a lot cooler in here for some reason, even though the furnaces are about 2,000 degrees. So what I decided to do this time, uh, so I can have a few more cameras, I got the GoPro. The other thing I got was a normal kind of uh, camcorder that I want to use because then I can zoom in further and hopefully it'll last longer and will stand up to the heat a little bit more. Now, one of the issues I'm having is even with the GoPro, the GoPros are still overheat if I get them too close. So I can't really go up to the glory hole or I can't get it, get it too close to the bench because it still may overheat because the glass will radiate the heat off of there. And if the cameras are too close to just the glass I'm working with, the heat from radiating from the piece I'm working on will affect these and may overheat them. I tried doing a first person kind of video once and I got about three quarters of the way through just making a simple drinking glass and both the phone and the GoPro overheated on me. I may try it with the 8 to see if this is any better, but I can still set it up to use it to get creative angles in here, which we'll, we'll put that on today. And then I got HDMI cables so I can run these cameras further from the computer. If you're using a USB, it doesn't reach as far as HDMIs do, so I tend to try to use camcorders that have HDMI so I can spread them out a little further from the computer and get different angles as opposed to only being limited to, I think, I can't remember what the limit is to USB, 10, 15 feet or something like that. And then adapters to make this work. My point is, is to have three cameras that I can then use a USB number pad to switch between the cameras so that I can change them while I'm blowing glass by pressing a button and change the cameras in OBS. I also had set it up at one point so that the chat could change the cameras for me if they wanted. I may have that off right now, or I may only make that uh, something that mods can do in my chat. And we'll see how well the changing camera angles works, and hopefully we'll have a good stream. Also, I don't understand why HDMI cables cost so much. This is like $80. Why? lens isn't removable on the 8 as it was on the 7, so I'm going to try to protect it with these, especially if I'm going to get close to some of the hot glass or close to some of the stuff I do. I don't want anything scratching the lens, so I'm going to put the tempered glass protectors on there first. Well, it decided it wanted to go on where it was. So hopefully I'll give it a little protection from anything that happens while I'm in here. So there isn't an HDMI out on the GoPro 8. This is really, really annoying to me. You have to buy the mod, the media mod to go with it in order to export an HDMI signal so I could use it to live stream. I am extremely disappointed in this choice by GoPro <laughs> to make me pay extra money for an HDMI out. How can you use... <sighs> It's so frustrating. I guess we just set up the one camera then. And there's no GoPro for today. Gotta find out where to turn it on, there it is. So the image quality on the screen doesn't look too good, so hopefully it looks better through the HDMI, because it does not look good. To be honest, I'm not that impressed with the Canon's camcorder's video quality. This is the image you get from the Canon R800, I believe it's called, wide there. Then we'll be switching back to the bench camera when I'm doing something there. So we'll set up the Bluetooth number pad so I can switch between the scenes here. So if I press the button, changes, changes. So now I can change scenes. So now I just need to find a way of attaching this to my arm. So I can press buttons. There it goes. 
let's try and get it to work. It wouldn't work at first. I'm happy. Switch scenes. Oh, there you can see it. See? There. I can switch scenes by pressing a button. <laughs> Now I can start to try to open this up. Spin it. I can hang it down and let it kind of fold on itself a little bit. I'm going to keep it spinning so it stays open. It has some fold, otherwise it'll fold too far down, so I'm just going to keep spinning it. There we go. Well, I think that worked out pretty well. The, the Canon camera works decently for what I need. And when I pulled it out and put it away, it was not overly hot. My A7 III is always really warm when I get done glass blowing, but at least this camcorder wasn't hot and handled it pretty well, I think. So we'll continue to use that, even though the image quality isn't as good as I want, but it works for what I need. Now I just need a second camera to set up somewhere else because the GoPro doesn't work without having that media adapter, which I'll probably get for it sometime soon so I have it. Uh, I would like to get one more camcorder. How much do I spend to keep getting more stuff for streaming? Is it worth it? I don't know. I'm going to keep trying, but I did like changing cameras, and I hope to have more cameras to do that. So thanks for watching, and let me know what you think, and I'll catch you next time. Look, camera switcher. I do. I messed up. I'm messing up a lot. <laughs>